All right, folks, so today's gonna be a shoulder press day. And this is the long version where we uh, do the whole setup. I think a couple reasons for it. One, YouTube watch hours. Two, if you guys are interested in being in a power cage, you can actually see uh, what's involved switching from one setup to another. Um, now, today's video, what are we going to have for gear? We've got the, the Go Plus bench here that's, uh, or excuse me, Go Plus power cage. It's available, I believe, at Amazon or Walmart for 200 or less. Um, then I'm going to use the Titan Fitness bench. Oh, not this crappy cap one that's in here right now. So in a moment, we'll get that out of here. We can just set it off to the side. We get to tighten in. Got a assortment of weights that we use on the channel. I've got some good ones and some crappy ones. Um, It is tempting to just put this 45 behind it, but uh, I probably need to do something smarter. <laughs> um, so we'll warm up. This video, we'll go through the whole warm up. Ah, and I just squished my finger. We'll go through the warm up. We will. Eventually get to some actual heavy weights. I uh, haven't unboxed it yet, but I got a thing to put the Olympic weights into. And oh, yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. If you're actually watching this far in the video, when you're celebrating Christmas, comment uh, below. I'd love to hear, hear from you. All right, so there's that. Now we get this 45 off. Let's toss this over here. Yeah, uh, God. In the, uh, Heck of a Christmas already. Yours truly woke up super early, not on purpose, but I accidentally fell asleep really early on Christmas Eve. Nobody bothered to wake me up. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I was actually up at one o'clock in the morning on Christmas. So. This will be the last day we use the Christmas lighting. I'll try and find something to change it up for between now and New Year's Eve. All right, so if I remember correctly, the pins need to go up at least two. And so, folks, if you get one of these, you know, marking, getting a piece of masking tape and marking on it, like, hey, this is your setup for shoulder press, would be beneficial rather than what yours truly is doing. Now, at the end of this, I may, let me think here, we're going to, 
slowly get our weight up, you know, and um, I think at the end, who knows what weight will be. Maybe it'll be 185, maybe it'll be 195, maybe it'll be 205, maybe it's 225. Maybe we'll do something stupid and try 230. Not sure. Um, this week, I don't really want to kill myself on Christmas Day, but all right, so that is still too low, folks. Watching this with that one camera, do we need all these lights? I'll shut that light off because it's too dark behind me. I didn't think it really had a whole lot. So I think our lighting is this camera is not really picking up how how cool the lights really are. I think one of the things I was going to do with this light was take it upstairs and add a little Christmassy light to everything, but these things hurt your eyes when you stare at them, so so we will put Two different types of elbow sleeves on in this video. Um, I'll probably put some wrist glo gloves that have wrist support on. Drink a little monster. I did take like a 15 minute nap before I decided to come down here. So in the back, you can see how well organized the the barbells are now. I actually think I might buy a second one um, for that one day that I just decided to completely clean this place up, taking all the bars off the racks. Um, you know, I have two barbells here that don't have a home. Then we have the Olympic barbells, and then we also have the tricep thing. So we have room to have another five. Um, one of my Christmas gifts, which I would actually highly consider sending back, because um, <laughs> I went and bought, I went and bought the bench daddy. I'm like, what do I need this thing for now? This will be good. This is between the Mad Dog and this one is really where I should be. The, the money shot comes between these. But, um, so we have, we have those. We got that. I have a thing to clean up the dumbbells down here. Later in the video, we'll use the, um, what are they, Cerberus elbow sleeves, which are three-ply, and they do believe they actually give you a advantage, um, albeit not as big as I'd hoped, but uh, we did happen to press a little bit more weight using them. So I'm thinking, eh, maybe they're uh, maybe they're advantageous. Now, just like these, I can't get them very far up my upper arm. And if I buy the real big ones, then you know it doesn't work at all. I don't feel it. Um, We used to use dumbbells to do lat raises to warm up. I'm not sure why I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, I kind of feel like the fangs are really tight. So, for today, I'm going to break out the fives. 
I'm gonna just, you know, get that raise. Oh, so all of my subscribers, which some of you have subscribed and probably may never come back and watch another video on the channel, but you're still appreciated. Um, hell, honestly, if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know if I want to subscribe, this guy, this guy needs me, right? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you don't want the notifications, then uh, you can check those off. And that way you have the option of checking out the channel in the future. Um, or you can just, if you have notifications on, you'll get all the updates, but there might be a few too many. So this, this past month has been crazy for subscribers on my other channels. Not so much this one. Uh, one channel, I got 418 subscribers, which for me isn't a record, but it's really freaking awesome. Because um, you just know... If, well, I won't be able to maintain that, but let's say I could maintain it. We would end up uh, adding, I don't know, let's say 50% subscribers to what I already had on the channel over the course of a year. And if you do that, then you're talking, you know, talking some big bucks. Uh, maybe not big bucks, but the, the money the money is going to be a little bigger. So I don't know. I think these are the cheap Chinese collars. I'm going to try them out. I can't find the other the other uh, decent collar that matches that one. These may be lighter. But yeah, so one channel got 418. Another got 327. Another one got two, 270. This channel has got maybe 50. Um, which isn't too bad. We're, we're not too far from our goal. We, we have the watch hours. We just don't have the subscribers. And so, I don't know what it'll take to get those final subscribers. My thing, you know, is I'm kind of going through the motions on these workouts, but, uh, each week we get a little stronger. Luckily, we're getting really it's muscle memory more than anything, I think. But um, that part's that part's good. Now I wish I knew what diameter plate I could put on here. So that when I'm doing the upright, I wouldn't hit the ceiling. I don't want to put a bunch of tins on there, but I have to, I guess I have to. Tins, you know, are nice because they're easy to pick up, but taking them all off afterwards for pain in the ass. So yeah, if if you are 
if you are out there and you're considering subscribing or maybe you've got your own channel and you're like, yeah, I could use another subscriber. Um, feel free to, you know, tell me you subscribed and that you would like a, uh, like me to check your channel out and subscribe and we'll see what we can, we can support each other. Over the years, I've luckily bumped into some different groups of people that have somewhat helped me along the way, you know. But my goal, my goal honestly is get this channel somewhere between my weakest monetized one and my best monetized one. And be able to, I don't, I don't really necessarily want to make a shit ton of money off of it. I just want to buy more equipment, gear. You know, if I had a hundred sets of 45 pounders in this house, I wouldn't care, you know. Uh, and I'm talking about different weight plates. If I, you know, had filled this basement up with equipment, I'm assuming the wife is okay with it, where I have to start giving shit away or selling it, you know, maybe the equipment gets better. Um, unfortunately, you know, this, this kind of stuff rusts, so you can't just leave it outside. But um, if it has a fresh coat of paint on it, you know, and it's not all scratched up, maybe you can, you can get away with that for a little while. So I gotta say, something does not feel so great today. Um, this might not be one of those days where we set any records. I forgot to put my cards down. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I talk about it way too much, but I don't think enough people watch these videos for it to matter. I talk about the equipment I'd like to add to this basement gym. Um, so close to pulling the trigger on a incline bench, but I just don't know how difficult it would be to get from the end of the driveway up here. I guess I could, you know, I could always rent a build it at Home Depot. <laughs> and if I could time it correctly with the delivery, you could just take it off the truck back into the Home Depot truck and then drive it up to the house, drive into the grass, drop it off in the backyard and call it a day. That would be, that would be pretty awesome. But those, those incline benches, like I, I really screwed up. I had an opportunity. I had an opportunity to get a flat and an incline for either 250 or 350 a piece. The Matrix ones. So the Matrix one has that goofy thing that detaches and lets you take the weight off. I don't think I'm a big fan, but the incline, as far as I know, doesn't do that. But for that amount of money to have both those um, would have been pretty cool. Now, I will say, I think flat bench wise, I, I like my setup better at times. Um, built in, or got the safety bars. I don't know if this thing's really meant to handle some of the weight that, you know, I throw at it, but there are safety factors. So you think, well, you know, it says it's rated for what it's rated. And when I say that, there was a, a power cage it showed you know rated at a thousand pound load but it said 300 pounds for these pins 400 pounds for the safety bar and then another 300 pounds for somebody hanging off of uh, the pull-up bar right and it was like 
Okay. That's not. You would think when you see a thousand pounds, it's going to be good, you know, all around. Um, I need these safety bars to be able to hold, handle up to 500 pounds. Um, I need the pins to be able to handle up to 500 pounds. I say that, I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we, we put 500 on there, but um, with the bench daddy, when I get that, it's gonna be like a bench shirt and we're gonna see some, see some heavier weights for sure. Um, all right, so we got the Athletic Works gloves on. Feeling my wrists feel a little funky, so we're gonna get some wrist support going. And I almost feel like maybe this is the other thing about the power cage: this the holes are like never the perfect height for you. Like I would like this thing to be up one more inch, not three more inches. <laughs> There's that. And I think it's time to get another camera going. One. Right. All right, so getting camera number two ready. This is uh, going to be shoulder press today. Hitting where it needs to. So we did four plates, time for five, five tens. Um, yeah, but as I say, so I've had this computer, PC channel, we'll call it, the tech channel, whatever. Uh, I have invested almost every dollar back into it, except for taxes and say 10% for, um, excuse me, a little monster burp there, um, and 10% for savings. Now, Savings, you know, are, are growing pretty good. I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. Then I have I have another channel that's monetized that the whole amount goes into savings. I never really mentioned that, but nobody's watching this video anyways. And so what I would do with this channel and the, the next channel and get monetized after it will be this channel will do the same as the first channel, where it would take all of the monetized money and all but 10% minus taxes too, right? Take all that money and put that in the bank. Um, that, you know, whatever it is, 60, 60, 70% of that money that I would make would go back into buying gear. Slowly the, slowly the channel builds, I get more and more money. Maybe I adjust those percentages at some point. I mean, if I was making a million a year, 10% into savings um, at my age wouldn't make, wouldn't be so smart. It'd be better to, you know, put 200,000 or 300,000 we're nowhere near that, right? So I don't know <laughs> that that's really something to consider. So I'm looking at this camera, I think, I'm not sure it's really pointed very, very good. Let's see what I'm picking up. I need to look like it picks up that weight quicker. Raise it 
way up just to be able to see the action. Uh, maybe we'll put this behind. So, yeah. Then if I had a fourth monetize channel, we would dedicate all of that to savings. Um, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Now, are there things that come up that I'm like, oh, I'd love to, love to buy something? And, when I say savings, it doesn't mean that it never would be put back into the channel. I thought about it in a monster workshop where I could build a awesome gym, right? Build an awesome gym. And then what else would we do, folks? We have an awesome gym. We'd have an editing room, uh, maybe a control room, production room, whatever you want to call it. I would probably also do the whole computer thing over there too. Clean out the basement of everything. Make that like more of a secure facility that has its own alarm, maybe even a guard dog, who knows. Um, we have a shit ton of weights and uh, weight machines. And then what else would we do after that folks? Um, so one of the channels that wouldn't affect them at all Three out of the four channels would be affected heavily. <laughs> yeah, I hear the elbow snapping. So that, you know, the negative of going heavy week after week is you start to feel stuff. Um, making actual gains where I felt like I was lifting the same weight week after week. Now we're, feels like another story. Uh, so. I have all these cap 10 pound plates. Um, I honestly thought of buying more of this, <laughs> but the only thing I would ever need more of these for is to either do flat bench press, uh, incline, or shoulder shrugs. I think with the caps I have. Let's see if I can find more. Yeah, there are some more over here. Oh, uh, might as well get them. Get them ready. So we have 120, like 165 on them, right? And we'll go 180, 185, then we'll do 205. Then I think I'll, I'll drop down. But the interesting thing is that we have, I have all these five pound plates too, not near as many as we have at the tens. And I have, a, you may have just noticed me carrying a BTX 10 pounder. Um, I think I'll drop this 10 over here. This is the spot for the 10 pounders. So we have nine pairs of cap 10s. So that gets that would get me a 225 uh, barbell basically, right? And I just bought some. Might as well get them out. We may need them. Let's 
These things are still really signature fitness. 10 pound or five pound rubber coated. Then what this was <laughs> interesting, this thing weighed five pounds, 5.6 ounces. So it was uh, over what, six or seven ounces heavier, which is kind of ridiculous. I thought, I thought about buying a bunch of those for making dumbbells out of. Still thinking about it. I should do it while they're on sale. But, uh, the other things I want to buy. <clears throat> but if you're going to make Olympic dumbbells, rubber, probably the best thing to do would be to have rubber fives on it. You know, they're a little fatter, but at least, uh, you know, if you drop them, probably not going to do as much damage. All right. So 165. I think next set we will switch over to the, um, the other elbow sleeves. I might just have to make a video comparing VTX standard VTX standard cap and signature fitness five pound plates. I'm probably might as well throw in another another five pounder. Um, you know, you, it's one thing to see the pictures in the in Amazon, but to actually have the real product and have somebody that's not just showing a straight one one uh, look at the product um, showing you know which ones are uh, fatter uh, if the diameters are, are different now for the fives diameters might not matter as much as they do you know when you're looking at 45s it's nice to have all the 45s look like they're the same diameter you know in my case here I don't have that but um so might as well get another this other camera going All right, folks, so we got uh, 165 on here. Here's six tens on each side. Press the bar. This is kind of a warm up set, but you know. using the Titan Fitness Utility Bench. All right, so that felt pretty, pretty okay. And we're warming up finally. So my last set, last two sets, I'll pull this out, try and do Try and do um, one, 185 with without a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I'm trying to say, standing. I'll try and do it standing and then we'll do um, one 35 or so. And uh, I 
feel like we So I don't think I can do it to make my shoulder feel jacked. I mean, my wrist hurts, but uh, maybe, maybe we can get a dozen of these. I don't know. I never did set these um, either, folks. <laughs> Yeah, they're nowhere near being useful. Um, pop that up too. Maybe it's useful now. So, yeah, so I'm sharing my dreams to you guys. Um, you know, what could I do, honestly? I've been working out all these years. I could get personal, uh, personal fitness instructor license or whatever, um, which, you know, a lot of them are pretty much figure they're they just went and got a certificate they really don't know shit because you see the workouts they put through some of these some of these people through and it's also hard to when you talk about you know fitness instructors trainers fitness trainer whatever you want to call them if they're not in like tip top shape or like if I was going to somebody for strength and they didn't look like me, <laughs> you know, maybe without a belly, but I'd be like, yeah, what am I wasting my time? It, obviously, what you're going to teach me is not going to get me there. Now, of course, some of you will work out due to genetics. You'll never get anywhere. Um, that's unfortunately the way life is, right? Some of us aren't very smart. Some of us aren't very good looking. Some of us aren't very athletic. Some of us can't play music. Some of us have no art skills. That's just, you know, unfortunately the way life is. Um, you know, you think you can work at this stuff and get better at it, but the reality is if you're not gonna be a good guitar player, you don't have the ability no matter how much practice you put into it, you're still going to suck. That's, that's my thoughts. <laughs> and since nobody watches these videos this far into them, it won't matter. <laughs> Whatever I say. So, but yeah, I, uh, I would absolutely love to blow this channel up. I think for me, you know, slimming down in the belly, um, getting my muscles to pop, maybe getting some better lighting in here. How would I do that? I think I'd have to overhead lights right above me, right? And figure out how to get the, the lighting just right so you can actually see and it's hard to see with this spotlight shining on me from the side, but the actual definition and the muscle that I have. And we do a pump check at the end. It's another story. Then you go, okay, now I see what this guy's talking about. But uh, until that point, it's, um, you know, another story. All right. 
think we've yapped enough. But yeah, I spent a lot of time, folks, thinking about what could I do to blow up this channel? Would me getting a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar loan make a difference? You know, could we? If I had, I mean, I have, we have a big lot here. If I could get a loan and keep somehow keep that completely separate that that workshop and the equipment but really I need another piece of land so if things don't work out and they take it back they don't take my house right <laughs> which means then I need something close and then it's like well why not just open up a 24-hour gym uh, if you're gonna go through this hassle <laughs> You know, I really don't like the dude, but Bradley Martin, um, I mean, I, when I say I don't really like him, I'm not like this huge fan. There's a lot of other people out there I like, but his gym basically is a social engineering, you know, workshop. I mean, he's creating so much revenue on YouTube via different influencers. It's amazing. Um, if I live closer, that might be a place to go, right? Because not everybody on that channel is, you know, like, or the works out there that has channels and has got popular is, like, really fit. Like, some people are just, yeah, you had good genetics from birth, you know? Some of them, you're like, why does this guy have this shirt on? All right, folks, so we have... 190 on here, and we're gonna try and crush this for a bunch of reps. Maybe we didn't have 14. Maybe not. And we didn't get our so of course I didn't have the YouTube short camera going. I missed I think 13 reps of 190. Plus the weight of the colors. Fuck. That pisses me off. <laughs> Man, that pisses me off. Uh, so we're gonna we're going to do a 205. Now, anybody that's thrown more tens on here like this, you guys know balancing it is a little harder than if I had a 45 and 25. Ugh. I need to wear those collars. That's probably another half pound right there. Okay, so. We could put the 8.7 ounce ones on there. I'd like to have a collar that's exactly 4 ounces and 4 ounce or 8 and 8, not 8.7, 5.7. So if we build this workshop, you know, like they say, if you build it, they will come. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, so 
So does this have, oh, the other camera has the three, the two views. Wide angle, so we could do wide angle, I guess. Yeah, if I can find the spot, well, maybe right here. All right, so we got camera four now. One of these I'll turn into a YouTube short. Yeah, folks, it's good to dream, right? I mean, you think about it. I don't know that I would need a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment, but um, you know, if you wanted everything to match. And then let's say, let's say I did go get that personal fitness license, trainer, instructor, whatever, certificate, license. I could actually, you know, bring people over and do personal training, not charge them too ridiculous amount of money because um, I think I would do in retirement. So it would be like, okay, $20 a session. Where you know, really, you'd, you'd want a lot more than 20 bucks, but $20 a session, and hopefully, they come a few times a week, just enough, you know, some money to offset that. Now, how much money would I need to offset like a $200,000 loan? That's a good question. <laughs> How much of the 200,000 would be the, the building itself? I was originally thinking, you know, 50,000 of it, but I think with, in, with Biden inflation, it's probably more like 75,000 for just the building. And I did see that, uh, what's his face? Uh, Jesse James just built his own gym, bought new equipment. That cost a hundred thousand. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of equipment he didn't have that I would want. And then I think most of the stuff he bought I would want, but um, leg wise, you know, have to have a real leg press. We would obviously have to have a good power cage, better than what we have. Leg extension, leg curl, those two machines, calf raise machine. And so you're good there, uh, I think, for legs, personally. And obviously, you get hack squat, you can get all such stuff. So maybe we save some room, right? But we don't want to blow through all that money. Because um, we have to... We have to get lucky and, hey, I built my own $100,000 gym video and get a million views on it. And that money helped pay a few months worth of payments, right? <laughs> uh, we would want to buy more weight than we have because you don't want to have to carry the weights all over the place. But uh, that said, I could always load them up on carts and drive around with them, roll them around. But yeah, I want to buy a bunch of the same matching plates um, or, you know, maybe the leg area has one type of plate. Maybe you go to the bench, it's got a different type of plate on it. Um, just so there's some unnecessary variation, but, you know, products to additionally talk about and showcase. Have an area to do deadlifts. Um, so buying some more bumper plates, we would need uh, weight trees, a few more of those. I would need, I think I'd want to have just built-in cameras. You know, that's what I'd be like. These are fixed <laughs> permanently. 
So they're they're recording. You know, I just gotta turn the thing on and start recording. I'm gonna go back and hit it. Um I would probably keep my decline bench here, but we would add an incline, a really good flat bench, a uh, bunch of hammer string stuff, like the plate loaded back, two plate loaded backs that I have at my the commercial gym I go to. We would want a um, cable fly tower with with a um, lat, lat pull down dumbbell wise. So right now I've got 80s. And these dumbbells almost all match, but we would want to get a bunch of rubber coated dumbbells. Now, how high would we go? Do we need to go beyond 100, 120? That's a good question, right? The only thing I'm going to be using those for are shrugs. Um, maybe, you know, some heavy incline. I don't like to do dumbbells for flat bench. Um, shrugs, inclines. I've got just about enough weight, the heaviest weight I need for uh, military shoulder presses. And, um, oh yeah, bent over one, one arm ropes. That is the that's the spot, folks, that we need, that we actually need for your dumbbells. But as I showed in a video, I tried to do 135s, so I only got, I think, four reps of them. So I don't need 130s. Um, I'd like to get a bunch of the smaller dumbbells and have them all match. Uh, what else? Cardio wise, we need. At least one elliptical, one bike, one upright, one uh, seated, or one seated upright, one recumbent. Um, we need one or two treadmills. And so I think as long as they're, like, it'd be nice to just go for a walk with a wife on the treadmill, watch some TV. We need a bunch of TVs in there. And it honestly would feel just like a, um, we were going to a gym, you know, but anybody that came for personal training, like, okay, it's just the two of us. Now, for a discount <laughs> on your $20, you can choose to have your, your session taped, and I'll put it up on YouTube. Maybe, maybe there's other influencers in the area that say, hey, you want to come use the gym, work out, make videos? You know, you can do that. Here's a, um, a small fee or a monthly fee to use the gym. Something like that. I don't know. All right, folks. So we got 205-ish on there, on here. And uh, we'll just see how many we get. That was obviously a huge set, that last one, right? Anybody that watched it. One thing, this seat is just not quite deep enough. So we actually, I would say, unlike a lot of times where we're kind of rocking them out, we somewhat pause those before ripping. Um, kind of hurt my lower back a little on that last set, folks. I won't lie. So um, we'll move this out of the way, and I think we'll put. 190 on there for our standing. <clears throat> but 
yeah, if you're gonna have, do personal training, have maybe some memberships, not a ton of them. I would just have to generate enough money that I can make the payments, keep the lights on, you know? Now, if I knew somebody rich <laughs> that had that same room, that would be nice. But I don't, I don't know if they're rich. Ugh. So we're going to do... Uh, I got seven. So 185 plus the two and a half. Oh, I think we'll, we'll try the, uh, I think we'll do one, 140 today. Try and get 20. I say try and get it. We haven't even gotten standing 135 for 20, but we also didn't have these, these elbow sleeves on. It may give us a little boost, um, especially at lockout. Which, if you saw the last set, that was definitely, I believe those were locked out. Brought the bar down far enough. Thanks for doing it. But, um, now, this weight belt is not quite giving me the support I need. Right. This is the belt I wear with the lower, the lower half thing, lower support, which I'm surprised I'm not wearing. I probably should have that on, to be honest with you. Might be a mistake. So, folks, if we could just make make those dreams come true, you know, and if I if I had extra money lying around, I think I would probably do the personal trainer aspect. And this might not be the ideal house for it. I might need. Might need us to buy a different place. Um, and maybe just go, hey, let's get, let's try and make my retirement idea work out. And I think, though, when you have, you're trying to hopefully get rent. or not rent, get, charge people the amount of money that will pay, help you pay back that $200,000 loan. Plus, you know, whatever you make off YouTube, right? Like, $200,000 loan, I don't know, how much is that? 800, 800 a month if it was a, a 30 year loan. And that might be the you know the way to go at it. Like, I want to buy if they would let you do this. I want to buy this piece of property that I could do make commercial. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't even have to be commercial, but probably be better. This piece of property do a commercial and put a seventy-five thousand dollar workshop on it. Have electric, water, so it's gonna need a bathroom. Gonna need a bathroom, gonna need lights. Um, gonna need specialized lights, I think, just for making videos. Then all that equipment, I'm probably talking way more than $100,000 worth of equipment to make it more like a real gym. Um, 
only allow memberships for people that are gonna do um, YouTube stuff, right, or TikTok or whatever. Sure, you know, tell them, listen, you can film in there. If somebody else is in there, then just be, you know, try not to film them. But um, I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe might be able to get a couple more money out of them, but charge them, you know, 50, 100 bucks a month. Just get 10 of those kind of people. And next thing you know, you've got that whole payment paid for. <laughs> you could get 10 at 100. And they have that benefit of they could film as much as they want. And, um, So make a 24-hour gym and can film themselves. They just can't talk about the location they're at. And we'd have to have a security system monitored. What else, folks? I would need a parking lot. We need some signage. Maybe a sound system? Actually, if you're shooting videos, you don't want to have music blaring. Okay, here we go. This is 190. Standing military press. Standing overhead press, however you want to refer to it as. I wish this was up a peg, but it is what it is. We could bring the, these things up a little bit, I guess. This is the last one. Just add this, add something to dump it on. Now this thing is clear, so I'm gonna step back and hopefully lift. Now if we get more than six, we know the elbow sleeves are playing a role. All right, folks. than I was expecting folks. Uh, so we use our signature fitness plates. We need 45 four of these and a five plus the two and a half. Yeah, I should have used a foot shake that's a little lighter than five. <laughs> yeah, that was disappointing. I could not get that sixth one up, but it was rather strict form, I think. <sighs>
five marks of the video. Yeah, that was that was disappointing, folks. Now, if I used a little bit of leg drive, we would get more than twenty reps. So this almost is the end of the Christmas workout. Yeah, you know, when I talk about the gear, one other aspect I could do if I could clean this basin up is just go ahead and buy the equipment. Um, you know, every, every so many months, or say, you know, twice a year, three times a year, buy a piece of high quality equipment that would be commercial grade. Tear it down, paint it. Um, of course we're going to be powder coated, but tear it down, paint it so everything matches except for maybe the bench seats on them, but then uh, LP, get the equipment, the weights, and then when the time comes for the, the actual building to be built, that wouldn't be too bad. Or if, honestly, if I could uh, figure out a way to wheel stuff in here, <laughs> put on furniture dollies or something, have it stored along the rest of the basement, and see if I could figure out a way to create more storage space. A cheaper route, honestly, would probably be add a add a third car garage to the house. Um, not a big fan of working out in the garage, but uh, a big like an RV sized third car that would add a lot of square footage, right? And then we'd have a we'd have the upper body area maybe the back and legs area because um, I really I've got enough room in here for probably two more benches so I could go flat and incline in here just have to take the barbells off as I don't know I don't know if I could have three benches with barbells on them, but we could have three benches in here for sure. Um, so what does that get me? That gets me my the benches I want to have on and out. But then this power cage, I guess actually the other, only other thing I would want is um, a fixed military press bench. And if I had that, would I use the power cage? Because then you'd have, you'd have all of the pieces of equipment that I really want for um, chest and shoulders, except for pec deck. <sighs> and really, do you need a pec deck if you have a cable fly machine? Just another, you know, variation. You can use dumbbells as well. That's what I forgot to do yesterday. I was going to do dumbbell flies and incline for the video. All right. So, tighten the belt up a little bit. 
And I think, folks, I'm not sure we really have um, 20 minutes, but we'll see what we can do. try one more but man you just start feeling more back <sighs> all right so we can shut down these other uh, cameras oh, we lost one camera <laughs> Oh, crap, we lost a, another camera. So, shit. <laughs> this one looks like we ran out of storage space, yeah. 39 minutes into it, we ran out of storage space. That's why I shoot with multiple cameras in case you guys ever wonder. Oops. We do it for editing purposes as well as in case we lose footage. And the battery died on the other one. So that tells me who knows how much footage we have. And then this camera. We did start this one later. Okay, so I actually, what I missed on this one was pure. What we missed is uh, the standing stuff, which is good. It does make for great videos. Dang it. All right. It's pump check time, folks. Did I? Did I or did I not get a good pump? Did I get my same Sulu pump? Gut. My gut looks like it's pumped up. Okay, come on. Yeah, that looks okay. <clears throat> looks like it did the other day, actually. So the lighting from this angle is actually not too bad for the left arm. Right arm, just okay. Let's see if we can get closer for the shoulder so you guys can see how the shoulder's looking. Okay. Now that, folks, that is what I'm talking about. That looks pretty good. We got a pumped up tricep. Now, because of the lighting, yeah, I can't really wonder if I could do a vacuum. Um, try, I need to find the spot the lighting's the best. 
So if I could suck that in, can you imagine? Like, that would look pretty damn good, right? But I'm not there. So, all right, folks. I'm going to shut down the gym. Hour and 16 minutes of working out. Next week, the lights will be changed. That's something else. I don't know what colors, but one of these days, like I said, I'm going to bring the guitar out here. We'll, uh, we'll do a concert. And one day, actually, I might just go, just let this record. <laughs> and come back the next day and be like, yep, time to go again. <laughs>